sir in this video i want to explain a bit uh, more realistic example more funny example how to use predicate sir best example all almost all the people who are seeing this video the people who are learning mostly either software engineers or upcoming software engineers sir what's our job monday to friday full coding meetings deadlines and so on saturday sunday full enjoy are getting that full enjoy with bottle pub all these things for software engineer part of the life most of the times now assume that sir if i want to go for pub just the one time i went to the pub then immediately pub person the main gatekeeper objected me hey if you want to enter into the pub compulsory you should have girlfriend are you getting without a partner you are not allowed inside then automatically i, I requested there no use uh, then i came back okay next time whenever i will go compulsory i should go with my girlfriend it's a mandatory right sir it's a very common common for several most of the pubs assume that i want to check whether this a software engineer is allowed into the pub or not are you getting i want to check for that i want to use predicate concept are you getting only two conditions i want to check if i can give software engineer object as the argument i'm giving which object sir software engineer object as argument as argument yes my predicate is going to check whether this age greater than or equal to 18 years or not greater than or equal to 18 years or not under this person having girlfriend or not okay sir if these two conditions are satisfied then only this person allowed into the pub correct or not so for this conditional check i want to use predicate okay let me convert this total thing into executable program first step i have to write software engineer class with the required parameters and then i will create an array of software engineer objects and i will apply predicate now the list of members who are allowed into the pub i want to display clear right okay let me write software engineer class observe that observe a bit very carefully sir i'm taking class software engineer just uh, take a bit very very special care sir class software engineer every software engineer i want to maintain three properties one is name sir one is name next and after that second one sir age because for this requirement age is also must be required third one sir is having girlfriend or not are you getting is having girlfriend or not look at this is sir this argument is uh, what data types are boolean type remember boolean boolean is uh, having girlfriend or not are you getting girlfriend or not like total how many properties are there three properties right let me create constructor okay software engineer software engineer okay string uh, name string name int age boolean boolean is having is having girlfriend or not are getting boolean is having girlfriend or not yes can you please guide sir this is the constructor this dot name is equal to name this dot name is equal to name this dot age is equal to age sir next this dot is a having is a having girlfriend or not are you getting is having girlfriend or not is equal to is a having girlfriend i will pass i will pass the argument no problem at all sir that's all so with this constructor you can create n number of software engineer objects of course that is our next job i will discuss next and after that whenever we are trying to print the software engineer object internally which method will be called two string method in the last examples also i covered already let me overwrite two string method public public string two string method public string two string method return return just a name just a name that's all that thing is enough sir 
Are you getting? So class, software engineer, software engineer having three properties. This is the constructor. Under this is the twisting method. Whenever we are trying to print any software engineer object, just it has to print the word name. Clear for all of you, right? Sir, if you feel comfortable, let me create, sir, an array of software engineer objects with these parameters. And I want to write a predicate. Sir, how I can use that predicate for these software engineer objects? I will explain. Clear up to this, right? Now, up to this, we covered software engineer class how you can write. Now, observe that. I created an array of software engineer objects. Software engineer array list is equal to. Sir, I am creating almost five software engineer objects. Sir, first software engineer, Durga 60 false. Are you getting? First parameter is name, second parameter age, and the third parameter is having girlfriend or not. Sir, my age is 60 and I'm not having girlfriend. Okay, assume. Second one, sir, new Sunil, Sunil, under 25, true, sir. Are you getting 25, true? Is, uh, is age 25 having the girlfriend? Next, a new software engineer, Cyan 26, true. Okay, Cyan. Uh, next, uh, Cyan Banerjee, 26, uh, true. All, all these people are my online students. Okay, like a new software engineer, Subbu 28, false. New software engineer, Ravi 19, true. Are you getting? Sir, there are some list of, some, some software engineer objects here is there, sir. Now, I want to check. Sir, which software engineers are allowed into the pub? Okay? To check that, I want to write a predicate. Are you getting? Sir, what condition you require to check? If I give software engineer object as the argument, now my predicate has to check whether age greater than or equal to 18 years or not, and whether this person having girlfriend or not. If both conditions are satisfied, then only, then only allowed, allowed into the pub. Are you getting? Now, let me check, let me write a predicate to check both conditions, right? Predicate of, this predicate is going to take which one of the arguments are? Software engineer, yes, argument. Are you getting? This predicate is going to take, which one of the argument? Software engineer, object of the argument, type parameter, right? Sir, allowed. Allowed is equal to, just I am giving the allowed in the reference variable, allowed is equal to, if I can give software engineer object as the argument, what condition I have to check, sir? Software engineer age should be greater than or equal to 18, greater than or equal to 18, and the, and the software engineer, okay, is having girlfriend, is, is having girlfriend should be true sir are you getting should be true so if i can give software engineer object as the argument what this predicate is going to check compulsory is age should be greater than or equal to 18 under this person should have okay are you getting that girlfriend so to check this one i wrote a predicate now here observe for each software engineer for each software engineer object, object SE in list. For each software engineer object SE in this list, if, if, okay, allowed, allowed is nothing but predicate, sir. Allowed is the predicate reference variable. Allowed the dot test of this SE. Okay, I'm passing the software engineer yeah, the argument to test the method of this predicate. If this one returns true, if this one returns true, then automatically this software engineer is allowed into the pub. Are you getting? This software engineer allowed into the pub. Okay, just to print that. Sir, wherever we are trying to print software engineer object, Two string method will be called. In what way I override two string method? Return name. Then automatically, which persons are allowed? Okay. The all software engineer names by default we are going to get. Are you able to understand right? So in this example, whether the software engineer is allowed into the pub or not, to perform that conditional checking, just a user of predicate concept. Okay. Same example. Let me execute so that you people can feel more comfortable. Right. Just observe that a bit carefully. Same example, here I have a look once. 
have a look once sir i'm taking import java dot util dot function dot predicate class software engineer these are the three parameters what we have sir software engineer these are the three variable this dot name this dot age this dot is having girlfriend or not this is the two string method right just the return name okay now test the class main method it is the software engineer sir first software second third four five sir total how many how many software engineers are there sir five software engineers are there okay just i'm checking sir have you observed predicate predicate of software engineer allowed is equal to if i can give yes e if i can give yes e yes e dot age greater than or equal to 18 yes e dot is having girlfriend or not this is the sir two this is the condition what i'm going to check sir now sir the allowed the allowed members into the pub are are getting the allowed members into the pub are sir for every software engineer present in this list can you please apply can you please test that predicate if that predicate returns true then automatically SOP of yes key sir now can you please tell which is software engineers having the girlfriend age greater than or equal to 18 years can you please tell sir first person not satisfied because because not having the girlfriend but second person yes satisfied about a predicate age within the range and having the girlfriend third person is also age within the within the limit and then having the girlfriend but fourth person no sir just the, for the, for this person no no chance because not having the girlfriend assume that assume that this person assume assume that this person sir this person is also sir age is the 17 years only age is 17 years only this person is also even though having the girlfriend but 17 years only not allowed into the pub sir according to our logic can you please tell which members are allowed sir only only these two members are allowed into the pub are you getting that yeah? only these two members are allowed into the pub now let me execute this code sir here have a look once the code compile is fine but the output by default you are going to get sir the allowed members into the pub are sunil and sayan only these two members are allowed into the pub are you i hope you people can able to understand right sir it's very clear for you people wherever conditional checks are there happily we have to use predicate concept now you are habitizing to use the lambda expressions on the predicate in our day-to-day -day coding clear right that's all